In residency, uh, I did incorporate a lot of injection techniques uh, into uh, my practice. At that time, I was doing them uh, in what's called a blind uh, technique. In other words, you kind of feel where the sore spot is, and you go in uh, blindly without any type of image guidance to put uh, the medicine in that spot. Later on, I was reading some research that showed that these injections that you're doing blindly, uh, the majority of the time, don't get into the spots uh, that you're trying to get them into. Um, and that's when I learned about ultrasound. Um, using ultrasound guidance, you're able to put the, the needle exactly where you want to. And I've had a lot of people say, well, you know, I know I get my needle there every time. And if you look at it under ultrasound, a lot of these spaces you're going into are, have a thickness of about a couple of millimeters, especially like the subacromial bursa, which is a very popular injection that the doctors do. And so if they tell me they can hit a two millimeter spot blindly every single time, given uh, everyone's anatomical variations and uh, pathology that could be present, whether the bursa is swollen or not, uh, I just don't buy it. And I think the research shows that that's the case as well. As far as arthritis of just the large joints, such as the knee, we can use visco supplementation. Uh, um, that's a hyaluronic acid uh, injection. <clears throat> now these are really expensive um, uh, to do. Uh, they, they can run in, up to a thousand dollars really for an injection of this and uh, because of the expense you want to make sure you're getting that uh, that product in where it needs to go uh, and so if you're just doing that blindly I mean you could be putting it into um, into a muscle you could be putting it into a ligament or a tendon because um, the research shows that a lot more, majority of the time that needles not going where it needs to go and so if you're injecting something that's a thousand dollars into someone's knee you want to make sure that you got it where it needs to go Another common complaint that I see is a lot of uh, sports injuries. Uh, this could either be like a traumatic injury <clears throat> or a uh, chronic kind of overuse injury uh, that uh, athletes have. And this usually tends to, people come in with a swollen joint um, after they've twisted their knee or things like that. And, and you can really see that fluid collection um, under ultrasound uh, so clearly. And you're not having to kind of root around with the needle trying to find that pocket of fluid to get it to come out. Now most of the time blindly you can get a really large effusion to come out. But what I've found is a lot of people actually have loculated uh, effusions so they have pockets of fluid all over the knee after these kind of things. And so there was one guy I came in I had to go in three different spots to get all the fluid out because there was like little septa in between the different pockets of fluid. And had I not had the ultrasound I wouldn't have got all that fluid out of there. So he just would have had some reactive joint fluid and, and really blood kind of floating around in the joint kind of causing damage. And so that was a, a, good, a good use of ultrasound under that situation. So another treatment that I'm doing uh, for patients that uh, have uh, problems uh, either with tendons or ligaments or even joints is, is a new, it's a fairly new a procedure called platelet-rich plasma or PRP and what this involves is uh, drawing blood out and then uh, taking that uh, quantity of blood and centrifuging it down and then let's say we'll take 30 mLs of blood out and out of that 30 mLs we take 3 mLs of platelets um, which are the the part of the blood that contains all the healing factors and we inject those uh, that large quantity of healing factors into uh, where the patient's having a problem Let's say it's a tendon issue like um, a um, rotator cuff tear. If it's a partial tear, uh, you, could put, you can actually look under ultrasound and see exactly where that partial tear is and then put those platelets right into that tear very precisely and even, you can even watch it layer out uh, over time as you're, you're drawing the needle out and you can actually see the layers of PRP getting laid in there, uh, filling in that defect. Uh, so with ultrasound guidance, uh, PRP is extremely powerful. Uh, you can use it to treat a, a, a numerous amount of uh, pathology from tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, inflammatory joints, a lot of times in the knee or the, or the shoulder, and, and certainly rotator cuff. Uh, it tends to work very well. I learned about it at an ultrasound course that I was at because a lot of people that utilize ultrasound uh, throughout the country tend to kind of uh, gravitate toward uh, uh, these types of treatments uh, because it's pretty much impossible to do these type of treatments without some type of image guidance. And if you're trying to put them into a tendon or a ligament, uh, ultrasound is really the only method out there uh, to, to do that. And so uh, a lot of people that do musculoskeletal ultrasound tend to kind of utilize uh, these treatments as well. My name is Dr. Scott Nall. Uh, I have a uh, practice doing uh, orthopedic medicine, integrated pain management here in Fishers, Indiana.